Okay guys, so we are gonna make a beef stir fry that is so tender, you won't even believe it, with a beautiful, sticky, glossy pepper sauce. Ah, oh, you guys, you need to watch this one. So this is one of the questions you guys ask me all the time. How do you keep your beef really soft and tender when you're stir frying it? Well, I've got the answer just for you. So first off, let's talk about the beef. So I like to start off with a tender cut of beef because starting off tender means you're more likely to get a more tender result. So I like to stick to ribeye or uh, scotch fillet, uh, sirloin, uh, strip loin, uh, even rump actually is pretty good as well. Uh, so they're all the ones you're looking for. I'm using strip loin today. And what you want to do is, check out the grain of the beef. So I'm talking about the way that the sort of muscles in the beef uh, run. Now in this piece, you can see when I slice through here that the grain is running this way. So we wanna cut in the opposite direction. This is what's gonna help the beef stay nice and tender. The way you cut it is really important. Now I'm also cutting it on the diagonal because I like to get sort of wider pieces of beef out of my steak um, and I want to keep it really thin. So this is about the thickness that you want. Okay, slicing is tip number one. Tip number two are some ingredients that we're going to put in our marinade. First off, quite conventional, we're going to add a little bit of soy sauce and then some Chinese cooking wine. So this is a rice wine and you can find it in Asian grocers and a lot of major supermarkets these days. I just want a dash of that. I love the flavor of this in stir fries. If you'd like to keep it alcohol free, just leave it out. And then here come the important bits and pieces that are gonna make all the difference. So, baking soda, I'm gonna add that. That is gonna to help to tenderize the beef and then cornstarch. So cornstarch is gonna kind of put a bit of a protective layer around the beef and give it that kind of velvety, uh, soft texture on the outside. Now you just wanna give that a whisk. Okay, now the beef goes in. And the only way to do this, I think, is with your hands because you really want to make sure that each little piece of beef has its share of that marinade. So get right in there, give it a good mix. Now this doesn't need very long. I'm just gonna set it aside while I make my stir fry sauce and do my veggies. Really simple black pepper sauce. I'm gonna start with some oyster sauce, some light soy sauce. So light soy sauce is just the regular Chinese soy sauce. It's called light soy sauce just to differentiate it from dark soy sauce, which we'll get to in a minute. So soy sauce goes in, and then this is our dark soy sauce. I mainly use this for color. And now I want a little bit of vinegar, some sugar to kind of cut through the saltiness of the sauce, and a decent amount of ground black pepper. Okay, just mix that through. Now for our vegetables, I'm gonna keep it really simple, just go with some capsicum. Just wanna cut around this so I'm avoiding the seeds and as much of that white part inside as possible. Now I also want some spring onion. Okay, just slice those. So now we're ready to stir fry. So a wok obviously is what you would traditionally use, uh, but I know a lot of you email me or message me to say, well, you know, I don't have a gas stove. I don't have a seasoned wok. You know, what's the best thing to use? So in my opinion, if you've got a flat electric surface, then you really want to be going with a really wide pan. So the whole idea is to get as much hot surface area as possible, and you don't want the bits and pieces to kind of stew. That's what'll happen if your pan isn't big enough. So really big pan and get it really hot, add some oil. So in we go with our garlic. You'll notice it's quite roughly chopped because I don't want it to burn. Straight away in with our onion as well. And then literally like 30 seconds later, I'm pushing the vegetables out to the side and I'm gonna add in my beef. So you wanna put the beef in and try to spread it out as quickly as possible in the pan. And this is important because you want to get that beef spread out and searing in the pan rather than being all clumped up and stewing and steaming. Now don't fiddle with it too much. I just want to let that beef caramelize and get a really beautiful, lovely color on it. Okay, time to toss everything together and look at the color we're starting to get on that beef. Ah, oh, perfect. Now just before that beef is cooked, now I'm going to add in my capsicum. That'll give it a chance to soften up a little bit before the beef is cooked through. So the beef is just about cooked. The capsicum has got a little bit of color on it. Now I'm gonna add my sauce. 
Okay, so this literally just needs to be tossed together until everything is well coated. So now I'm going to add in my spring onion. Ah, oh, look at that beef. It's so glossy. Now all that's left to do is serve it up. Okay, so let's see how we've gone with our beef. Mmm, so soft and tender. You guys will not believe it. Just two little ingredients makes all the difference to that beef. Amazing. You'll never have dry beef stir fry at home ever again. You're welcome. <laughs> If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.